What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, we completed Chapter 4's B-Side. In this episode, hopefully, we're gonna make it through the Mirror Temple. Not really 100% sure, because I know that the difficulty is probably climbing with each of these, but... Alright, let's see here. Got a nice remix. Ooh, interesting. It's kind of got that... that jazzy vibe to it. Alright. I'm down. Ah, um, we've got this, this setup. Wait, what? <laughs> wow. And what's funny is like it hasn't even been like that long since I played the the last chapter. Okay. So I'm not even like that rusty. If anything, it's just that the uh, it seems more like the world is ending outside. <laughs> People buying up ridiculous amounts of toilet paper and hand sanitizer. It's kind of nuts. There's actually a lot to say on that. Honestly, if anything, I'd save that for a, a zero thought, not a uh, random Celeste episode where I'm trying to focus on some platforming. Because there's a lot to be said about how humans work and different cultures and um, how they respond to times like this. and It's kind of disappointing in some regards. I was about to say, please tell me that counts as, like, transitioning the screen. I thought I hit the platform here before sliding off to my death, but... Um... Oh, that's right. Why did I do that? Maybe my, my decision to, uh, play Celeste earlier in the morning rather than at the end of the day is showing. That was not very effective. Okay... And then... Okay, that was fair enough. We've reached our first checkpoint. Oh no, I hope we don't have to deal with the dark. That was that was probably one of my least favorite aspects. Um, doesn't look like we're gonna have much... Oh, I guess... Hmm... I think I could make that. So we probably can progress here. Ah, I see. That's gonna be, that's a tough one. I think I actually need to do that a little bit earlier. I wasn't quite high enough on the platform there, but. There we go. Aw, oh, man. Hmm. Kinda tough to get this just right. Aw, oh, man. I feel like I have to, well, yeah, I've gotta, I've gotta do that really quickly because I'm not gonna have my dash at that point. Up and over, oh man, I almost had it. Of course, I mean, I still had a full another step to go. Yeah, this is an interesting remix. It's kind of like, it's got like a nice jazzy vibe to it. I'm a fan. Whoa. I don't know if I was supposed to go to the right there or up. Hopefully, hopefully up. Cause I can't really, can't go back now. Interesting. So I have to go to the left, dash up, and regain my dash, I think. Yeah. And then after doing so, I need to land on that moving platform on the left. And have it catapult me to the uh, the left. That's got to be the strategy. Huh. So the timing didn't quite work out as I had anticipated. And that's because, of course, I use my dash right there. Interesting. Okay, so we've obtained one key. There's still a key to be obtained on the uh, on the left, it seems. Seems there's a lot to be done. We need that switch. Don't know how we're gonna get that just yet. This music reminds me of Danganronpa for some reason. What happens if we uh, use this? 
Oh, nope, still need to open that up in the first place. Okay, anything down here of interest? Oh my! Oh man, that's... That's pretty tough to navigate. Seems very doable. Oh man, should have gone straight up again. Oh, I was gonna say, wait a minute. I need my, uh, I need my dash back at that point. Hmm. Ooh, that was a pretty interesting way to go about that segment. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped! I thought I was going to start flashing red. So I should save that one for last. For sure. Whoa, that was not how I anticipated that happening. Wait, what? No! I hit... That's not... That's not what I wanted, game. Wait, what? Alright. There we go. Okay. Now we have this key. Which goes down here, presumably. So now we can go over here. Ooh, this looks pretty neat. Aw, oh, man. So I gotta be really, really distinct with my uh, my D-pad inputs. Gotta make sure I'm not, you know, blending them at all. Otherwise, I'll get mishaps like that. Because I think, from like a complexity standpoint, this isn't actually too outrageously difficult, right? Oh, so close. I was just a little bit too early. Yeah, it's just about not... It's about transitioning from one direction to the next without getting caught in, like, the in-between state. Let's see. Is my reaction done now, or am I still going? All right. I'm on the, I'm on the watch. I'm ready. Okay. Whew. Game didn't push me too hard there. Um, so we're on this guy. This reminds me of a segment from the from the original like version of the level. Huh, that is going to be difficult. Yeah, I feel like I just need to be that that quick. I don't know. Because I can't regain my dash at that point. So I pretty much need to dash and then that. Wow. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, that was so close. That was that was way too close for comfort. What happens if I go up? Nothing. Okay. I shouldn't be in, like, secret mode. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I, I realized a little bit too late what was going on there. <clears throat> Darn. Gotta time that a little bit better. It is tough to time something like that, though. You really gotta think... Hard, or, like, very far in advance to think on that one. No. Oh! And then, of course, you have to be ready should you make it. I didn't think I was gonna make it, so... I, uh, was not prepared for when I actually did survive. Cool.
cool. Now we can hit that switch, and now we can go all the way across on the left, and finally hit over that way. This is pretty neat that it's kind of taking you all over the different rooms and forcing you to interact with them in different ways and revisit them in certain ways. I'm, uh, I'm impressed. Interesting. I see. I see. Aw, oh, man. But I gotta time that a little bit better. But it's pretty cool that they make you kind of choose when you're going to climb onto it. Alright, hit that switch. And we are still cruising. And I think that's our next big jump up. Wow, yeah, again, I'm, I'm really enjoying how they integrate all the different screens and force you to go back and forth between the different ones to do this. Pretty cool level design. Alright, so we gotta go in that to the right, play on the wall, take our time, drop into that one, go straight up, and then, oh man, we gotta dash and dash to the left, all the way to the left, go on up, and then we dash to the left, I think? Probably. Grab the wall, or grab the wall and then dash to the right. I just, I don't know if how fast that block is gonna come over, right? And then try to not get hit by that as it moves to the right and we wall cling, then it goes up and then wow. This is a long segment here. Whoa. Oh, and is that like, that's the mirror I would imagine. Wow, this is, uh, this is quite the segment here. And there aren't really many opportunities for breaks in the middle. Okay. I knew it. I knew it was going to be too slow. I knew it. Darn. Uh, I think it's the, the first time that's happened to me. That's pretty poor timing on my part. Gotta wait a little bit more on that one. I gotta wait a little bit more before that. I guess I'm just trying to figure out like a from spawn, right? If I move at a certain time, because it seems like it's always the same cycle. I can, you know, um, kind of get used to the, uh, the particular timings. Really? <laughs> I'm already starting to look to the right, you know, trying to think of how I'm gonna move on the platform, or how I'm gonna move on the, like, wall hanging. But, uh... But I got a lot more urgent things to take care of. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, so close! <laughs> so close. Darn. That's, that's pretty good, though. That's pretty good, though. I'm pretty happy with that one. The the real tough part is going to be timing this again. Because I felt like that was something that I had trouble timing in the past, and I got past that, and then was able to at least react to the rest of the level, you know? Okay, okay. Oh, too much! Darn it. Okay, at least it seems like I'm somewhat more reliably making it to that part of the level, though, which is progress. Alright, we're gonna wait a little bit. Alright. Oof, that was, that was close. Okay, go! Nice! So there's one of them. Anything up here? No. And now we've unlocked the mirror. So what's gonna happen as a result of that? Oh no, we're getting sucked into the mirror.
It's like Luigi's Mansion all over again. <laughs> Ooh, this is pretty cool. Alright, so... Oh my! Looks like we've got quite a bit going on. Aw, oh, man. I've really got to time that well. I think part of what they want you to do is to um, cling onto surfaces because that will like reset your fall momentum maybe. That could be something, it could not be something. Don't, uh, don't take my word on that. Oh, I just barely missed it. They're really utilizing everything you got there. I think I can actually just hold left in the beginning. Yeah. No need to overcomplicate that part. Oh, oh, I need to time that. So I need to fall fast. I don't like how the camera is so far ahead. It makes it like tough to see. Like at this point, I'm like all the way up in the top left of the screen. Oh man. I wish they would just kind of try and keep it a little bit more centered. It's interesting to see that over the past couple times I've been able to um, kind of activate the switch at a diagonal rather than by jumping to the right and then, you know, straight up. The thing is, I think if you activate it by going straight up, it is overall easier to then fall and, you know, not waste as much time getting to the next switch. I didn't do it again. But it, I don't think it's actually as much of a race against the clock as I initially thought. Because I didn't see that second switch the first time around. Oh no, I thought I was going to keep falling. Hang on, I'm going to see if I can adjust the glare maybe or something so I can see better when I'm in that top left corner. Because it was not... It was not good. I don't know why I chose left here, but... They seem pretty equivalent. <sighs> really? Ah, uh, man. Oh, I knew it! I should have made a bigger jump! I almost forgot about that second switch. Every time I keep thinking I hit the switch, so I'm like centered, but I'm not. Really? I feel like these things have much bigger hitboxes than their than their sprites indicate. So I know like Obviously, this game is pushing me to be, you know, really precise with my platforming and all. But... But sometimes it feels like... Really? That's alright. Darn. I wonder if I'm on a timer for that segment, too. I don't know why I did that that time, but that's okay. I, I get the impression I always will be on a timer and need to be moving as quickly as I can, because that's probably what this first segment is kind of showing me. Because I could dash to the left there, right? I could dash to the left and cling that to that wall and then fall through rather than try to kind of slide through. And I think that might be a, a more, that would definitely be a more reliable way to do it. But it might use a little bit too much more, or too much time. And well, come on, I wanted to grab the, the lower wall to the left. Not that top one. Oh 
no, really? <sighs> All right. At least this segment is not as long as I thought it would be. Really? <sighs> I did not think I jumped that much, but oh well. I'm heading to the left. I am not a big fan of this segment. <laughs> To be fair though, I've never really been a fan of this type of segment. Whether it was like in Mega Man 2 with Bubble Man stage, or, you know, where it's like the, the spike things that you have to fall and avoid. I'm just not a big fan of the whole falling... <laughs> falling period. No, I'm just not a big fan of like, falling and having to... Oh, really? I mean, to kind of like, figure it out on the spot, you know? Now, that's not even that so much as it... It's something about this type of falling where it requires like I don't know I don't even know what I'm trying to say I can't articulate it very well not a big fan of this it, it's obviously very like movement driven and it requires you know accurate use of all the movement options available but it's a little bit different from what I would consider kind of like standard platforming Which is sometimes good. It would get boring if everything were standard platforming. What the heck? I'm trying to like, jump as minimally as I can there. And every time it still seems like it's a little bit too much. No matter how little or how much I move, it always seems like it's never the right amount. Finally. Finally. Happy to be done with that segment. Now we gotta deal with these guys. Ah, I see. So I'm gonna need to, to jump off of its head in order to uh, get this done. I don't know why I tried to do that. I should have known that that would not be enough. Ah, oh, really? Oh, I didn't even see that up there. There we go. Oh no! Oh no, Madeline! We're so close. Ooh, nice, nice. That extra dash came in very handy there. Alright. This is pretty interesting. <laughs> Way to go. Removing the platform you need to survive. Aw oh, man, no. Oh, I almost made it. I almost landed on it there. Oh, 
that was certainly interesting. What? <laughs> what was that? What was that? It's supposed to like dash at me, not just like wander over to me. What the heck? <laughs> can't be doing that. I, I can't beat that. And I can't like go out of my way to jump on them. I can really only do that when they're uh, they're already on their way. Whoa! What was up with that? That was a weird interaction, to say the least. All right. Well, I've got my dash back. What? No! <laughs> really? <sighs> Why did it send me back like that? That was... that was it. Oh, give me your... Give me it. What? <sighs> like bounce off of them. Let's see. Give me your. Give me your jump. Give me my dash back. Come on. Gotta actually like lunge at me. <laughs> Stop just like migrating up to me. Really? Like, come on, game. <laughs> what is up with that AI? Oh, it's gonna do the same thing again. <sighs> it, like, needs that horizontal incentive. Finally. So... It seems like I'm gonna need to potentially use that thing for maybe double jumps at certain points. Definitely seems like it. Oh my. Hmm. Oh no, I thought I could... Almost made it, but yeah, I definitely have to, um... Guide it in that direction. Oh! Oh man, that was... That was clutch. Alright, and have we found Theo? Theo! Yo! I'm trying to save you! Wait, is that... Yeah, that's totally Theo! I'm trying to talk to you. Huh? What's going on? Why can't I do anything? Did I do something wrong? I don't know what's going on, guys. All the eyes are obviously looking at Theo. But I'm not... <laughs> Hello, game? Game? I don't know. Oh, huh. I can I can throw. I didn't even realize I could throw things. 
That's something I totally forgot. It's the Temple Remix using our Mix Master uh, Theo. That's actually really funny. What happens if I throw this at them? Nothing. However, I definitely... I don't think I can dash while holding them, no. I was gonna say, I get the impression that they're, uh... They're made in such a way that... Oh, really? I thought I was... <sighs> I thought I was... at the right spacing. Darn. That was very strange. I have no idea what, what happened there. Really? Really, game? <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so what do I do here? I'm not seeing a lot of opportunity for, uh, to do something there. I'll probably get there and try and pause and think for a moment, just because, like I said, I'm not really seeing a whole lot that I can do. So if we pause, like, let's take a look at the screen right now, right? I don't see any springs, I don't see any trampolines. The only thing I can think of is luring that red thing, jumping on it, and then hopefully getting high enough to to do that? I don't know. The other thing is, what if I were to jump, throw it, and then dash up and try to like catch it again on its way down and use the momentum of my dash up while I'm holding it to get even higher up? That's the only thing I can think of, though. Because otherwise, it, the level's not giving me a lot to work with here. I think that's actually going to be it. Oh, that's totally it! Yo! That's totally it! Wow, they force you to really get creative. Wow, I can't even believe that that's what they want you to do. Whoa, that was a very weird interaction. Wow. I'm shocked by that, but interesting. This isn't canon, is it? I'm not sure I uh, understand the implications. Oh, I didn't realize that Theo could take those things down. Interesting. I didn't even need to like get all fancy there. Oh, wow, I thought I was dead there. Don't worry guys, the game got me back anyways. <laughs> oh man, I thought I made it through the door in time. But I guess not. Wait, what? 
Weird interaction. Okay. No! Go, Madeline, go! I can't see. It's so, like, light pink, purple, and fuzzy. I, like, can't even see very well. Okay. So, like, what am I supposed to do here? I've got to hit that switch. Oh, I need to throw Theo through those spikes. That's what I need to do. Whoa. Alright, you need to chill for a moment. Oh, really? Ah. Oh, well. I don't think this particular segment is too, you know, ridiculously difficult. <clears throat> but that is kind of frustrating. Landed on it there, but I guess not. Jump on it. There we go. Okay, onward. Now we've got a huh. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to be jumping with it anytime soon. So I need to bring that one over there. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Can, uh, can my boy Theo pick them up? He can. There we go. So then what I need to do is that. That was weird. Definitely some some strange physics going on, but nothing we can't completely uh, figure out eventually. Okay, so that's on there. Ah, oh, really? What's interesting is that when I'm in the air, I get like a little bit of a pause. Whenever I pick up Leo again, it like halts my momentum. I think that might actually be really helpful. Whoa! I still had a lot of momentum there. Wait, no! I didn't want to throw it. It's weird, because like sometimes it feels like she auto picks up Theo, and sometimes it feels like I really have to I have to be holding down L2 as I um, as I approach Theo in order to make sure see like that time it didn't pick up Theo for whatever reason. Okay. Don't throw him! No! That's not what I wanted to happen. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna hold L2 now. Oh, really? I tried to do the dash up thing and re-grab. But obviously it didn't work out as intended there. No! to be holding L2 there if I don't want Madeline to throw him. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Uh, this one is clearly impossible. Oh my goodness. I think I know what they want me to do. 
Oh, so there are the springs there, and I basically need to throw Theo onto the spring. It'll be bouncing. I need to dash and then hit the crystal, climb out of the wall, then jump up, dash over, grab Theo, throw Theo, and then fall onto the next crystal, dash over to the next crystal while Theo's bouncing on the spring, grab on the side, etc. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, it's doable. It's definitely doable, but definitely... Oh, no! They made them blocks that fall, too? Oh, no! That, that makes this so much more difficult. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm shocked <laughs> that that took as few tries as it did. Oh, interesting. Oh, man. Oh, I see. I see, I see. I've got an idea of what I need to do. That's pretty cool, actually. Oh man, too far. No! Yeah, I think I think that's a pretty surefire way of doing this, or at least like a safer route. No, I'm supposed to go up. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Okay. Oh, and I wasn't holding. I wasn't holding it. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's not as uh, apparent as I initially thought. I think that might be what I want to do, though. What I just basically did last time. Where I throw Theo up onto that alcove. But then I myself go down to this platform. Oh, that was it! That was it. That's totally what I need to do. Or one of the things I could probably do to make it through this. But I think that'll be pretty manageable. Oh man. Hmm. How do I want to how do I want to do this? And there are the times where I just hold on to it for way too long. <laughs> Screw up on the easy part. I definitely can't do that. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I throw it back. Mm, that doesn't seem like a very viable strategy. 
All right, let's let's try thinking outside the box a little bit. There we go. <laughs> That's pretty neat that we actually got the heart by throwing Theo through it. Mirror magic. Whew. All right. So I didn't like that first segment. The falling segment in the second half of the level. But aside from that, it's a pretty cool B-side. It's a pretty cool B-side. We've rescued Theo yet again. Oh, man. All right. We are, we are cruising right along. Oh, I, <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> I put the controller down, and then it starts counting up, tallying up all my deaths, and it vibrates like crazy. All right, so... Interestingly, not too many more deaths than the regular level the first time around. Interesting kind of like comparison of the relative skill challenge at each point. Yeah, that's actually pretty neat. But, because I'd imagine now if we went through those original levels, we would have significantly fewer deaths, right? But, alright, it looks like next up is Reflection, Chapter 6. Which is very, very exciting. And... It's been how long? Oh wow, it's actually been a little bit longer of an episode than I anticipated. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you guys are looking forward to the next couple chapters. Uh, we've, we're still cruising along. Like I keep saying, there's a lot left to this game. And it's kind of crazy because I, I imagine there are still so many more mechanics, so many more difficult aspects of this game to, to try to master. And it um, should be exciting. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero. And this mission is complete.